Well, Paul, a nil-nil draw here against Eastbourne Borough. How did you see that one? That was a tough game. That was a tough game. Um, difficult conditions, uh, cagey relegation battle. Um, we needed the points. Eastbourne needed the points. Um, I got, I got to say, I thought our boys were. I thought we defended unbelievably well, really, really well. Um, obviously. Adam had a game plan first 15 minutes to play Big DR up top and, and, and shell it, which they did for the first 15 minutes with the strong wind behind them. I thought we dealt with that admir admirably. Um, then they switched their shape and went back to what they normally are, which is good passing team, good football team. They're a threat up front. They have real pace in wide areas, real pace in wide areas. And I thought we, we um, defended them fantastically well. Um, can't remember them having... A half chance first half, boy should maybe hit the target, but other than that, I thought we were pretty comfortable. Um, we put in a hell of a shift. The boys are the boys are working themselves into the ground. Um, can't ask for any more from them. I think, um, yeah, I thought, and, uh, and at the end, we had, we had the two best chances of the game. Didn't take them, but <clears throat> um, it was important we didn't lose tonight. And overall, the, I mean, I can't speak highly enough for the lads. I thought. The, the work rate, they just didn't they run hard for the, the, the for Truro City tonight. They they were tireless in their efforts. Is it just a case of a another point closer to that target? It, it, it's tantalisingly close now, but as you say, it was important not to get beat. So if we don't get beat, we get at least something out of the game. Um, it, it was important not to get beat, um, and it's. As you say, it, it's close. Um, we're a point closer than we were before the game. So, uh, we've got five five big games left. How do you prepare for tomorrow <laughs> night? It, you've said all along it's a bit of a journey into the unknown, something you've never experienced before. It, it's now upon us. Mm. Just how do you prepare for two games in twenty four hours? So, <clears throat> I've spoke to a lot of uh, a lot couple of my ex-managers and I was fixated on the Yeovil game um, <clears throat> and the ones I spoke to they all said you need to forget about that and concentrate on Wednesday night you'll end up forgetting about Wednesday and focusing on Thursday now I've said to the boys I would name the squad after tonight's game which I'll do in a minute um, it's <clears throat> I've got to be careful what I say because I don't agree that any footballer should, should play two games in 24 hours. It's not two games in two days, it's two games in 24 hours. It's less than 24 hours now. It's less than 24 hours until we play against Yeovil who need a point to win the league. Um, so there's a integrity of competition, I think is out the window. I think, uh, I think the National League um, are wrong for making us play back-to-back -back games. I think the health and safety of players is at huge risk. Uh, that the, the percentage of, of a player getting a muscle injury is, I've spoke to my medical team and other medical teams, and it's just, it's through the roof. Um, so what I will not, I will not, I will not put my boys at risk. Uh, they, they have never let me down in, in all my time at the football club. And I won't let them down. I won't. I care for them deeply, and I will not put any of my players at risk of, of a bad injury. Well, Paul, best of luck tomorrow. As you say, a hard earned point tonight, another point closer to the total. Definitely. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, best of luck tomorrow. Nice one. Thank you.